Hello, hello. I had to start off this vlog because I have exciting news. I finally finished the Google Data Analytics certificate and it feels so good. I just checked. I actually finished it in four months. I took a break. I took like a month off because I was traveling a lot. This is something I've been wanting to do for myself, but also hopefully will help me getting a job. And like I said, it took four months. They say you should give at least six months of your time to complete it. So I'm happy I finished it. They were about to charge me again because it's on Coursera. So it's like a subscription. I get charged $50 every month and they're about to charge me in two days. And so I really wanted to finish it. So the last two days, I literally have been working on it like all day, obviously taking breaks. I'm proud of myself. I learned a lot of new things. Um, there are some case studies that I can practice my skills with. So I'm gonna look at that, but I wanted to complete it so I didn't get charged. I also wanted to be done with it just to like kind of get it out of my mind, have it completed, add it to my resume. And now I can focus more on applying to jobs, even though I've been doing that this whole time. But it's just like one less thing to focus on. If you guys are new here, my name is Noelle. Thank you for clicking on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see what we get into. Tonight we have a date night plan. Justin and I, he planned that. We're going out to a restaurant, which is pretty rare for us. We don't normally like eat in restaurants because it's not Justin's favorite, but I'm super excited. He was like, let's get dressed up. And so I'm really excited for that. So that's later tonight. But other than that, I don't really have anything planned for today. The weekend, I have some fun things planned. Obviously I'm going to F45, that's like my weekend routine. And then um, I'm actually going over to my neighbors. We're gonna hang out for the first time. So without me, without Justin, he's a little salty. And so yeah, it's just, I mean, this is just the cherry on top. So anything else this weekend is just gonna be fun. All right, it's time to get ready for date night. And I'm just gonna wear a dress because it's hot outside and I rarely dress up, so we're gonna have fun with this. All right, right now I'm deciding kind of between this dress, which I think is really pretty, or this dress, which is my engagement dress. And I love this dress, it just makes me so happy. I decided I'm going to curl my hair. I don't even remember the last time I curled my hair was. So we're gonna try to do it. This thing smells like it's burning and I have, oh my gosh, it won't stay. I have 40 minutes, so my hair usually doesn't take that long to curl. So we'll see if we can do it in 40 minutes. Oh, well, that did not curl one bit. That was a fail, epic fail. Hmm. I probably should get a new curling iron, honestly. They've probably vamped up the technology since I bought this thing. Whenever I bought this, I don't know. Let's see if we can at least get one good curl on camera. My goodness. Otherwise, we might have to abort this mission. Today's been super chill. I literally, after I finished the certification, I chilled, we watched Kardashians, Justin showed me this new cartoon, then I took a nap. Oh, there we go. Just had to hold it for a little longer. Yeah, I took a nap and then I applied to three more jobs. I actually, in our, um, we have a neighborhood Facebook group, which people are wild on there, but I posted in there because I'm starting to get more and more friends here in Texas, but I don't have that many connections. So I figured my neighbors are the only people, like a big group of people that I know who work in Texas or work remotely. So I posted in there saying basically, I'm unemployed, looking for a job. Seems like you really can only get jobs these days if you have connections. And then I kind of listed like, three bullet points of my experience and skills. And then actually about like 10 people responded. So this one girl, her name is Marissa, shout out to her. She's been super helpful. She is basically, her job is looking for, she said a partner for herself. And she's been like very responsive to me and being like, oh, I'll check, check up on your application. But part of me feels like they're not actually trying to hire for her position because 
I just got an email from the recruiters and it said, thank you for applying. We're actually going to go with other candidates. Um, you know, the, the standard rejection email and I messaged her and I was like, thank you so much for all your help. Like I really appreciate it, but it seems like you guys went with other candidates. Is there anything I can improve on? And she was like, what you got a, did you get an email from recruitment? Because my manager has been out since Tuesday with COVID. And I'm like, okay. And her manager is the hiring manager. So I'm like, that just doesn't add up. And this position has been open for a month. So I don't know if they're just leading her on or they're just super slow, but it seems like a fake position. Anyway, I applied to three other positions at that same company and one of them was a nursing position. So we'll see. We got the dress on. I did my hair. I just kind of put it in a bun so it would stay hopefully. Did a little bit of makeup, just eye makeup. I never wear makeup, so I feel like it just enhances a little bit. I'm gonna put chapstick on. This is the shoe and purse combo. You're good to go. Good morning, it is the next day. Headed to F45, date night was super fun. Super fun to get dressed up and the food was delicious. Today we have actually a pretty busy day. I'm gonna work out, come back. We have to return some packages. I want to clean my car, Justin wants to clean his bike, we want to power wash the front porch. Today we actually are going to try to send out all of our wedding invitations, so that's super exciting. We have to assemble them, put our address on them, put a stamp on them, seal them, and then obviously send them out. I think that's the majority of it, but I feel like that's a lot for today. And I will try to take you guys along, but I need to head out right now and go to the gym so I'm not late. They've been doing construction on our road and to get like literally anywhere. And usually they don't do it on the weekend. So I was not planning for it because usually I have to leave like 20 minutes earlier than normal. And today they decided to, I guess, do construction over the weekend. So probably gonna be late to the gym now, which is so frustrating and annoying because like I said, Usually the weekend, they don't do it, so I don't leave 20 minutes earlier than normal. Ugh, construction is so annoying. We just finished, or I just finished cleaning my car. Justin's still finishing up with dirt bike stuff, but he cleaned his bike. And then we cleaned the porch, the front door, got rid of all the bird poop from our bird's nest. I also kind of like bent a wire hanger to put where the bird's nest was. So they hopefully don't make another one and we need to just glue that down. But right now it's wet. So we're letting that dry, but I put the hanger up there. So we'll see if that works. It is so hot outside. So we are both sweating. I'm so tired right now. I need to eat food, but I'm trying to clean off the table while Justin's finishing up so that we have a space to do our invitations um, currently. It's just a puzzle on the table. I got these cool peel and sticks to um, put on the back of the puzzle. They just stick on and that way we can hang it up, frame it, do whatever. But this way it'll be off the table. This is the one I got, just got it off Amazon. So far it seems to be working pretty well and it's super easy to apply. So if you guys want, if you guys are puzzle people like me and you save them, this is so far so good. Like I said, I got those off Amazon. So let's finish this up so I can move the puzzle and then we can spread everything out for the invites. Show you guys how I do it. So I'm cutting it right here to trim it. And it has a grid, so that's pretty nice. But basically using all of them for this puzzle, I can't remember how many pieces this puzzle was, but you basically just peel it off. Peel it off, and then there's this little bar here. Okay. And then you need to overlap them, but you kind of just put it not over the edge, but as close to the edge as possible. And then you just press it down. Easy peasy. You gotta overlap it. Last one, it says to make sure they're all stuck with a rolling pin and I don't have a rolling pin. So we're just gonna, you could probably just put a textbook on top or just something heavy to make sure that all the edges are adhering to the puzzle. Last piece, 
We gotta make sure all the puzzles, all the puzzle pieces are going to be stuck together. All right. Let's roll over. I think the edges are probably the most important. Moment of truth. Ta-da! Oh, it works. All right, I'm back, actually dressed, and so I can actually show you a better view of the puzzle. There we go. I think it works pretty good. No pieces falling off, very secure. It also comes with these two little things that they say you can hang it up with, so I'm not really sure. I always frame them with like cheap frames from Target or Walmart or something, um, because I find they are just thin enough to fit in a, in a frame, but I guess you could try these sticky things. I don't really know how, I guess it just sticks on the wall like a command strip and then one part sticks to the puzzle, one, one part, oh my gosh. One side, one side sticks to the puzzle, the other side sticks to the wall. I'm not gonna test those out yet, but the puzzle is now movable. So that's really the goal of today. We actually have a few frame puzzles in our house and this is one of them. So how, how I was doing it before is I would just glue basically like thick paper, like cardboard, not cardboard, like poster paper. So I would just glue poster paper to the back of it and then I shove it in a frame. So as you can see, I wish it wasn't so glossy. So it like reflect, like it didn't reflect as much, but honestly, actually it's showing up pretty well on the camera. From far away, would you guess that this is a puzzle? I can't really tell in my little viewfinder, but it's a good way to repurpose puzzles. So you're not just like having them sit on your shelf collecting dust, but also I get you wouldn't want everything hung up in your house to be a puzzle. So. It's a balance, you can give them to your friends. But I will say that peel on stick was a lot easier than the glue because also with the glue, the puzzles didn't always lay flat. And then you know when glue dries, it kind of like lifts it up a little bit, if you know what I mean. So I feel like that option is way better. And so I'm glad I found that. All right, this is lunch. This is fajitas, steak fajitas. And then look how cute our little stamps are. We ordered stamps online so that we didn't have the American flag on all of our invitations and I feel like they're so pretty. The kitchen is a little chaotic so I'm gonna try to clean this up while Justin's showering and getting ready. This is your reminder to clean your dishwasher filter. Just, yeah, just do it. Just do it, you'll thank yourself later. getting ready for bed I'm trying out this new Amazon gadget that starts my mirror and it holds my camera and my phone and so far so good versus me stacking a bunch of our medicine boxes and then putting it on there it's actually like eye level which I can appreciate just brushed my teeth washed my face I'm gonna do my skincare it is almost one in the morning <laughs> and I'm going to work out tomorrow morning, but I always feel like over the weekends, for some reason, my body's just like not tired or whenever I actually have to, oh, I always forget to put on toner. Whenever I actually like need to wake up early, my body just doesn't want to fall asleep, but then every other day that I don't have to get up early, I'm waking up at like 8 a.m. Doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. And honestly, last night I didn't even get that great of sleep. 
and I don't feel tired at all right now. And I'm only going to bed because I have to wake up at eight o'clock tomorrow. Pimple cream. I don't know if this stuff actually does anything, but it makes me feel like it does stuff. Today was a very productive day. I will say my back is kind of killing me, like my lower back. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have scoliosis and standing or honestly even sitting for long periods of time just hurts my back and I have to sit down. So today with doing F45 and then washing the car, that was a lot of just like strain on my back. And then we did finish our wedding invitations. We addressed them all, we stamped them, we we put all the invitations in the envelope. And then tomorrow or Monday, we just have to verify that everyone on our list has an envelope and then we have to seal them and mail them out. It honestly didn't take that long. My friend Chrissy called me and it went by really quick. So we were just chatting. Justin and I had a little assembly line. Happy we got that done. We also transferred and mailed ourselves some presents we got on our wedding registry already because a couple people gave us some early presents, which is super exciting. And so that's gonna be, oh my gosh. My serum literally just flung across the bathroom. All of that stuff is coming along, so that's really exciting. And then tomorrow will just be a chill day, hanging out with our neighbor and going to the gym. Oh, I'm going to Target too to get some fruits and vegetables because I decided, I was on the phone with my friend and last weekend after one of my weekend workout classes, I went to the grocery store, got some fresh fruits and vegetables and I've kind of decided to implement this in my routine. I'm going to start going to the grocery store after one of my weekend classes so that I can get fresh fruits and vegetables and we can just like always be stocked up because normally we go grocery shopping every two weeks and then we run out of all of our fresh stuff by the first week and so then we just kind of eat like not as healthily as we could so I'm gonna start doing that and I'm kind of pumped about it. Also, another big change about like food and diet stuff is that I realize I don't love cooking because I feel like I make myself cook too much. Like for lunch, I'm cooking dinners when in reality we need to just be having like sandwiches or like something quick for lunch and then dinner I can actually like cook a meal and enjoy cooking. So I'm also going to try that, implement that into our kind of routine and I think for my sanity it'll just be a good thing. So I'm kind of excited to try those two things out, but we do need to get like sandwich bread, sandwich stuff. I like peanut butter and jelly, so I need to get more peanut butter, bread, and then some deli meat for Justin. Oh, I also want to try poaching my own chicken breast for chicken sandwiches. So we just got a bunch of new kind of routine things going on. But like I said, I'm excited to try them out because I think they'll just benefit both of us. And... I, for one, will just be a lot happier. Even though it is more effort to go to the grocery store, it's not too far, so I'm willing. I'm willing to make that trip for, um, for the team, for us to have healthy stuff in the fridge. I think that's a fair trade. All right, skincare is done. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and end this vlog with kind of like a nighttime routine, update you guys update you guys about our day because it was actually like like I said a very productive day and honestly I wanted to try this gadget out see if it worked for my camera and I think it works except I'm kind of backlit with this light above the shower which is kind of annoying because the banding that keeps happening but we'll try to figure that out I don't really know I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here if you guys liked it give a big thumbs up as always comment below what videos you want to see don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye